Hello students, welcome back. I am back with yet another poem, poem number 4 which is beauty. Now tell me students, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word beauty? Beauty means something which is pleasing to our eyes, which we like to see. What do you people find beautiful students? Many of you might find trees beautiful, many of you might find mountains beautiful, many of you might find your friends beautiful, many of us find our mothers beautiful, right? So different people see beauty in different things. Over here the poet is talking about a few things which he finds beautiful. Now remember students, beauty is not just outer beauty or the things that we look around or the people that we see. Beauty is also inner beauty. How a person behaves, how a person talks, a person's mannerisms, all this is also included in beauty. Now let us see over here. What is beauty? Try to describe what beauty is or list some of the things or persons you think are beautiful. So I want you people to take your book, take your pen and write down everything that you find beautiful. And by the end of the poem, tell me how many of these things match. Let us see what the poet has to say about being beautiful or beauty. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. So where is the poet finding beauty students? The poet says that beauty is in the sunlight when the sun rises in the morning you see beautiful rays coming out when you wake up early in the morning we like seeing sunrises right so beauty is in sunlight the trees birds when you wake up early in the morning students you hear the birds singing you see beautiful green trees sunlight coming through right that is beauty corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest what else is beautiful when the corn is growing and the farmers are happy and it is finally time to harvest. Harvest means to take it out so that they can bring it to the market to sell. Means finally they will be able to earn something, the harvest is ready. So the people who are growing the corn, they will be happy. So they find beauty in the corn which is ready to be harvested. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing rain falling or a singing singer chanting anything in earnest. So in the previous stanza the poet told us that where he sees beauty. Now the poet is telling us that where he hears the beauty. Where does he see beauty students? In the night when the wind is sighing. Wind means the sound of the wind blowing. When the wind is sighing, rain is falling. We all love to hear the rain falling at night, right? It gives so much happiness. We feel happy when it is raining at night. We love to sleep to that uh, sound, isn't it? Or a singer chanting anything in earnest. What is the meaning of earnest, students? Earnest means sincerely. So beauty is when a singer is singing his songs very sincerely, right? So beauty can not only be seen, it can also be heard. Where is it heard, students? When the wind is blowing, when the rain is falling, when a singer is singing, all these things are considered as beauty. Beauty is in yourself. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your rest. Now the poet is saying that beauty is not something which is only outer, it is also inner. It is how you work, how you talk, how you think, it is in your deeds. It is in your thoughts, how you talk to other people, how you behave with them. When you have good deeds, when you have good thoughts, it is going to reflect, it is going to show in your work. It will show in your dreams. People will appreciate you when you are good to them, when your thoughts are good, when your deeds are good. Deeds means work, when you work honestly, when you work happily, when you work kindly, all these things will be seen in your work that will be considered as beauty you will be considered beautiful so again I repeat myself beauty is not just outer beauty it is what you feel how you project yourself right 
it is in your dreams it will repeat itself everything when you have good thoughts when you have good uh, deeds you will have good dreams and even when you are resting you will be happy and even in your rest even when you rest you will be very happy because you have been beautiful what does beautiful mean over here students that you have been a good person so again what is the poet trying to tell us what is the message that the poet is conveying to us over here that beauty can not only be seen can not only be hear heard but it can also be felt there are many things around us which are beautiful so like i said again note down everything and tell me whether you agree with all of these things that the poet says over here that he finds beautiful tell me if you find those things beautiful as well okay i hope you found this poem interesting and you understood it very clearly now i will see you in our next class with our next next chapter till then take care and bye bye